bipartisan criminal justice reform efforts, President Trump has charged that some migrants he identified as grabbers who rushed the San Ysidro, California point of entry yesterday, Sunday, essentially used children as human shields at the border. According to President Trump, we've had some very violent people and we don't want, frankly, those type of people in our society in America. And uh, we don't want those people in our country. Three Border Patrol agents yesterday were actually badly hurt, getting hit with rocks and stone, according to the president and his caravan. Uh, earlier Monday, U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Kevin McAleen stated that four agents wearing protective gear were hit with rocks during an extremely dangerous situation, but were not so badly hurt. So, you know, there's a reason for the madness, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, unfortunately, innocent people, including children, have probably been put in, in harm's way at some point. Um, President Trump continued, in some cases, you know that they're not their parents. These are people, they call them grabbers. They grab the children because they think they're going to have a certain status by having a child. You know, you have a certain advantage in things in our crazy laws that, frankly, Congress should be changing. You know, if you change the laws, you wouldn't have a lot of these problems. That was an apparent reference to President Trump. Trump's long-standing criticism from the Flores consent decree made amid litigation during former President Bill Clinton's administration that limits the amount of time that federal authority, authorities can detain illegal immigrant minors who are caught along with their parents. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, it continues onward, of course. Uh, the president also clarified that they feel an advantage that they're with a young child, of course, and obviously they're putting them in harm's way. They call them grabbers, of course. That's a term I've heard. They grab a child because they have a child. They feel a lot safer. Well, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, they can dodge bullets that way, unfortunately, you know. So uh, nevertheless, prominent Democrats have lined up to hammer uh, President Trump and his administration as images of migrants fleeing tear grass fumes uh, circulated New York Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, for example, called the use of tear gas horrendous. Well, if they're throwing rocks, uh, they're probably going to get retaliation of some kind, don't you think? Uh, truth hurts. Thanks for coming to the chat. I think the parents should be arrested for endangering children. Well, they should be arrested in Mexico. I think Mexico needs to do something about it because they're not getting across our border, you know, according to President Trump. Um, uh, Snake Jones, thanks for coming to the chat. Uh, drain the swamp in every country's political system. I don't know that we would have control over that, but uh, uh, Snake Jones continues by saying their point of harm's way at that point when they all left home to join the, this invasion. Yeah, they, you know, as I said before, ladies and gentlemen, they do not look disheveled hardly at all. They look like they've just been camping for a couple of days, really, uh, unfortunately. Um, but definitely, um, it, it looks like it possibly might get out of hand. Anyway, the uh, only little breach yesterday we took care of it is very, very nicely and quickly and apprehended those who breached the wall was in one area where it wasn't quite built up yet. I had an epiphany, you know, why don't they electrify the fence as well? Um, you know, that would stop things. I don't know how much that would cost, but, you know, it might prevent them from getting on it and going over it or going through it. And I don't know about getting under it or digging under it, but uh, they definitely need to set a perimeter maybe of 15, 20 feet away from the wall to where if they even come close to it, uh, you know, they could uh, get a shock that uh, wouldn't feel too good. Not Definitely not to hurt them in any way other than just to deter them from uh, getting across there. But, you know, ladies and gentlemen, the pictures don't lie. They're either doing it on purpose or it, this happens every day and this is just kind of the first time we've really 
seeing this on a daily basis. So how's everybody doing? Uh, Truth Hurts uh, agreed they should be arrested on the other side of the border, but endangering the welfare of children, using them as shields, go to prison, no pass. Of course, uh, definitely, I agree with that. You know, we've also heard on another note uh, about Ruth Bader Ginsburg coming back. And they literally stated that she's back on the bench, uh, even though she had cracked a couple ribs. You know, how is that at 85 years old? How is she going to fulfill her duties as a Supreme Court justice with cracked ribs uh, at 85 years old? How, how many of you have grandmothers and great-grandmothers that uh, would be able to come back after maybe, what, two weeks of doing that, after falling and cracking your ribs at 85 years old? This is, uh, you know, it's going to get to a point, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, President Trump is going to have to use his executive privilege to uh, take care of the things that he needs to take care of for the American people. So uh, the president also said that he would have no reservations about closing the entire southern border, saying any implications on trade only would encourage Mexico to handle their business on the migrant situation. Trump also noted specifically that some Mexican police officials had been harmed as well. Well, of course, especially you know, about three weeks ago when uh, they uh, came across the southern uh, fence in Mexico and just, you know, basically rammed their way through that. Um, in a statement uh, by Homeland Security, Kirsten Nielsen, the over overwhelming majority of caravan members are not eligible for asylum in the United States under our current laws and said that a limited number of women and children have been used as human shields. Even Homeland Security, uh, Security Secretary is saying that. It's not just President Trump. You know, so um, uh, they've been calling this entirely predictable. It's going to happen until these laws are adjusted, until we get control of what's going on when the Democrats basically state that really nothing is going on, right? So um, uh, Truth Hurts says that sadly the adults now exactly what they're running towards. Those children do not have any adults willing to risk their child's welfare rushing a border knowing it's being defended. Uh, yeah, they're doing things on purpose. Um, definitely. It's not a coincidence. It's happening for a reason. Um, and the reason is to uh, probably the United Nations. I've heard a lot of that, that the United Nations is, is funding this uh, because they're wanting to disassemble our country like they have every other European country and uh, the Middle East. It's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. We have the right person in, in, uh, in the executive position that's not going to let that happen. So, um, and President Trump was uh, talking about this at his roundtable meeting tonight about the First Step Act for criminal justice reform. So obviously they took him off topic and brought him to this because it's, um, I guess it's a, a big story to them, uh, the mainstream media. But you know how they just pick and choose their stories. So Snake Jones uh, says it's a, a known fact now with evidence from reputable uh, sources that George Soros and company is funding this, uh, stop where the money is coming from and this event will be closed. Well, you know, he did fund the, uh, the governor's race in Florida for the Democrats who actually finally conceded after, um, you know, maybe about a week of bickering about who won and who lost. So that was already an admission on camera, on film, so we know uh, this guy's a part of it. Why he's still in New York City getting away with what he's doing, uh, God knows. But um, definitely uh, it's something uh, that needs to be addressed for these uh, so-called billionaires who think that they can uh, control economies and uh, tear down countries in this way. So I definitely agree with that. 
anyway, I wanted to bring this on because I, you know, I think this is a continuing um, assault on our country, and uh, we're going to have to eventually uh, break through these barriers. Uh, they're saying that um, there were nearly 1,000 immigrants or migrants rushed in the border crossing. So that's not a low number. That's not an extremely high number, but that's enough to give uh, Border Patrol some issues uh, in one specific area. So a thousand people, that's a lot. So maybe they're trying to pick their weak points uh, along the southern border. And um, Tucker Carlson said tonight that socialism is open borders and it's impossible to defend or to control. Of course it is. You know, and border agents reveal what is really happening on the border. And uh, that's going to come up uh, tomorrow in one of my videos, probably. So just some more information to uh, feed the soul with and understand that uh, this is not a joke uh, like the Democrats want you to think it is. They want you to just uh, let it go. And it's not going to be let go at some point, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be retired vet veterans and uh, patriots that end up going down to the borders to defend their own property. They already do with the Minutemen here in Arizona. Broadly, about how you all are seeing and covering the escalating tensions at our southern border. Well, I mean, clearly this is something that I think is, uh, has both practical and symbolic importance. The practical importance is that um, there is this group of migrants that's traveled all the way up through Central America and is trying to get into the United States illegally and trying to challenge uh, the United States laws, if you like, in that sense, and trying to establish, establish order. And that is, that is a practical problem and has to be dealt with. And whether it has to be dealt with in precisely this way, uh, we don't quite know. But, but as we know, there's, there's, the, the laws have been in place for a long time that require those migrants to apply for asylum, just as they were under President Obama, the same laws under President Trump. We're going to have to see how that works out. The symbolic importance, obviously, is that I think you know this does very much fit in with the president's message that uh, immigration, there's, there's been uncontrolled immigration into the United States uh, for a very long time. Uh, there are too many uh, illegal immigrants in this country and that they need to be, that that problem needs to be addressed. And so the president, I think, is using this opportunity of what is a genuinely, well, without any question, on the ground attempt by a bunch of people to break the law and get in to make the point that the United States needs to do a much better job of enforcing its border. That's really interesting. Senator Joni Ernst was on the Sunday show CNN State of the Union over the weekend and made a very similar point. Listen. I certainly think the president sees results any time that he does bring up an issue and he does uh, lay down certain um, certain reasons why he's doing what he's doing and uh, we are seeing results. And what he is doing now, and I'm sure we'll hear more about this uh, tonight when we, when we see the president, is he's doubling down on threats to close the southern border. What happens next with that? Well, so there are a num number of things. I mean, he's, he's made that threat, and, and uh, right now that threat hasn't been implemented, but it's still out there. And the threat is obviously partly to... It, it's, there's a complex set of um, people who are the object of that threat. There's the Mexican authorities. Mm -hmm. uh, he's saying to the Mexican authorities, why have you let these people through your country? And now Mexico would say in response, well, actually... We have dealt with many of them. Some of them have been settled in Mexico. Some of them have been returned to Central America. But he's, the president is saying to, to Mexico, look, make sure, you know, it's your responsibility to stop these people from breaking our laws. So make sure you stop them doing that. He's also sending a message, of course, to his domestic political opponents, in particular Democrats, uh, about border security and saying, you know, we've got fund to do wall. more. We're going <laughs> to shut down this border. And ultimately, you've got to fund my wall. And that, of course, is going to become the big question, whether or not there will be a shutdown of the government over border security. We'll see where it all goes.